Hi, I'm Weston. I love talking about the Astros, and I'm here to talk about game 18 of the regular season where the Astros win 4-3 to over the Texas Rangers, and we have a two-game winning streak. That's, that's neat. In honor of the way the game started, let's get it going immediately. First pitch of the night, Chaz McCormick blasts one to right field. It is gone. one nothing Astros. One pitch in for a leadoff home run by Chazzy Fizz, getting it popping early in this one. The second inning would come, and the Rangers would take a 2-1 to one lead, and this would be the only inning that Javier didn't look good in. Uh, Mitch Garver homers to make it a 1-1 game, and then a little bit later on, Brad Miller would hit an RBI single, and would make it 2-1 Rangers, and from that moment, Javier just dialed it in. The entire pitching staff really dialed it in until the ninth inning, but we'll get to that later. Javier would continue to look solid for the next few innings, and then come for time for the... <laughs> Javier would look pretty solid for the next few innings, and then it finally came time for the fifth, in which the Astros' offense would do some work. Jazz McCormick would single after that. Michael Brantley would single. Professional hitter Michael Brantley. After that, Jordan Alvarez draws a walk. He would draw a pair of walks tonight, and the bases are loaded for Kyle Tucker, who steps up and drives one for a base-clearing double to make it 4-1 Astros. And I would like to introduce a new tradition to the channel because I have a problem. Kyle, bro. Nice hit. Javier would finish off the fifth inning, and then the bullpen would come in and start doing work. Brian Abreu had some trouble, had some foot traffic, a hit and a hit by pitch, but would also strike out all three for the three outs. Uh, Brian Abreu also just, again, lighting up the scoreboard for hardest thrown balls. He is... Pumping fire to start the season. Phil Maton would come in and he would have a scoreless inning. After that, Hector Neris would come in and also have a scoreless inning going 1-2-3. And then Ryan Stenick came in and got a little bit dicey. Gave up a bit of foot traffic. Mills would once or Miller would once again drive home a run. This was on a fielder's choice. And it gets to be 4-3 and you're like, we're not going to blow this, are we? But then a beautiful strikeout to finish off the game by Ryan Stenick. He gets pretty darn pumped up, and the Astros take the second game of this series, or the third game of this series, to give us two wins on it. So at the bare minimum, we are going to split it with the Rangers. Hopefully, we can go for the win tomorrow night. Tomorrow afternoon! Hey, it's an afternoon game! Sorry, I got excited. I have a thing tomorrow evening, and I forgot that it was an afternoon game. Anyway, back to this game that I'm talking about. The offense was okay. We scored four runs. We had quite a bit of foot traffic. Uh, the runners in scoring position demons continue to haunt us. One for eight with runners in scoring position. Seven men left on. You're getting more foot traffic. You're doing better. You're getting real close. But you'd like to do more than that. As for who stood out offensively, Chaz McCormick would have two hits. Home run. That was pretty darn nice. Michael Brantley would have a hit. Alex Bregman would go 0 for 2 but had two walks. Jordan Alvarez might have been the player of the game. Two walks, two hits. He was fantastic. Kyle Tucker would have the base clearing double, which really helped the Astros out. That would be, you know, the winning run scored on that said double. And the Astros... Sounds weird because, you know, 4-3 sounds like a very close game. The Astros kind of just... Cruise to a win pretty comfortably. I already mentioned it, but we'll talk again about the starting pitching. I thought Christian Javier did perfectly fine for his first game starting this season. He's had a few coming out of the pen. I thought he looked good. Two runs in five innings is nothing. That's not too shabby. That is pretty darn good. You will take that pretty much every day of the week. I assume it's going to get better because, again, after the second inning, he locked it in. So hopefully in his next start, please, Dusty, give him more starts. Uh, he continues to build off of it, but I thought he looked really good today. And the bullpen, uh, again, they looked great. Four innings of one-run ball from your bullpen is pretty much everything you could hope for. And the only run we gave up was a fielder's choice, which I bring that up just because like it wasn't like they had a home run or you know a big scoring inning. It was a fielder's choice. So we still got an out even when we gave them the run. I've said it a few times. I would not have believed you at the start of the year if you said the pitching was going to be incredibly solid and the offense was going to be weird. But the Astros get a nice little win and we improved the 9-9 nine and nine on the year. So we get back to 500. Let's go. Uh, and I'll throw this in here at the end because this is kind of neat. This is the 500th video on the channel which I haven't even been making videos for two full years yet. So the fact that I've made 500 videos is horrifying to think about. I, I've said a lot of things on here. I, I could probably get in trouble for some of the things I've said on here. But I did want to throw in a thank you guys at the end because, again, if it weren't for everyone watching the videos and the overwhelmingly positive support I get on them, I, I wouldn't do them. But 
chatting with you guys, talking about baseball and hockey and football with everyone just is such a joy to my day. And I wanted to say thank you all for allowing me to get to 500 videos. I'll be here again tomorrow. We play at 205 Eastern, 105 Central. They will send Martin Perez to the mound. We send Justin Verlander to the mound. And I'll be here afterwards to talk about it. So that is all I have to say for the evening. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. And as always, Ghost Rose.